Hello and welcome to Jesse Bear Book Club Quizzes. This is a quiz for Mark and today we are taking our quizzes from the BBC History Magazine from March 2016 and 2019. And to help me, I have my lovely boyfriend, Cormac. We are starting with the magazine from 2016. There are 12 questions in total, six questions per magazine. I have not seen any of the questions, so let's begin. Ready? Yep. Question one. Which iconic symbol of American independence was made in Whitechapel, London? Ooh. I don't know its name, but it's that bell, isn't it? That cracked. You know what? I'll give it to you. It's the Liberty Bell, which was cast at the Whitechapel Bell Foundry in 1752. I was going to say the Liberty Bell, but then I thought that was too simple. I thought it must have a more complicated <laughs> no, name. No, that's it, the Liberty like Bell. Like American Freedom Bell. Okay, so I'll give myself one point. Cool. Which town in Greater London once boasted one of the largest fishing fleets in the world? Oh God, I don't know. Putney? Uh, no, the answer is Barking. In the mid 19th century, it sent out over 200 ships. I would not have guessed that. No. Question three, which handy piece of picnic equipment was invented in the 1890s by Scottish scientist James Dewar? Oh, I know this. It's a thermos. The vacuum flask? Uh, I think we'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. Keeps things warm. It does. Question four, who did former Shropshire policeman Anthony Hall challenge to judicial combat in 1931? Oh God, I don't know. Winston Churchill? King George V. Hall claimed to be England's rightful king. <laughs> well, I, I thought Winston Churchill was an educated guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. Okay, we're on question five. Which Glasgow-born singer-songwriter has written songs about Charlotte Cor Corday, Admiral Sir John Fisher, US President Warren G. Harding, and Operation Barbosa? Oh God. I, I have no idea. I don't even know any Scottish singers. Uh, I give up. Tell me. It was Al Stewart, best known for the soft rock classic, Year of the Cat. Never heard of it. Okay. So here we have a picture of a dress. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. So this dress, now in Smallthight, place in Kent, was worn by legendary actress Eileen Terry when she played Lady Macbeth at the Lickham in 1888, what was it covered with? Can I have a look at the picture? I'm not looking at the answers. I remember seeing this in uni and it... Oh. Is it butterfly wings? Close. Beetle wings? Ah, uh, do I get that or no? You know what, we'll give it to you. We'll be generous here. This is just a bit of fun. Yeah. You said an insect's wings, so we'll give it to you. Yes, thank you, Quiz Master General. We are now moving on to the March edition of the BBC History Magazine from 2019. All six questions. Let's go. Okay, we'll just start again with a question one, just to keep things simple. Yeah. So question one, which 12th century mystic and polymath was known as Sybil of Rhine? Oh God. Um, I know this is going to be wrong, but I'm going to say Joan of Arc because I can't think of anybody else. Uh, no, it was Hildegard of Bingen. No idea who that is. Well, <laughs> we got some reading to do after this. I know, I haven't read any of these magazines yet, so. Okay. So question two, what links Maurice Bavard, George Elser and Rudolf von Gerstorf? Gerstorf. Uh, this is a biggie. Uh, I don't know. Um, what are their names? Like Rudolf something? Maurice Bavard, George George Elser and Rudolf von Gerstdorf. Okay, I only know two Rudolfs. One is Rudolf Steiner and the other Rudolf, well apart from being a reindeer, is the guy who tried to blow up Hitler. Yes, I'll give you that. They all plan to assassinate Adolf Hitler. Okay. That's a biggie. Yay! So give yourself a point. Okay. Question three. When it opened in 1937, it was the longest of its type in the world. What was it? 
of its time. 19... In 1937, when this opened, it was the longest of its type in the world. What was it? It's a good one, though. Uh, longest of its type. So it won't be a road. Mm, maybe it is. <laughs> Don't do that. It's not a tunnel because one of the longest tunnels was like way before that. Uh, do you want a clue? Yeah, give me a clue. It's American. The Golden Gate Bridge? That's exactly what it is. Ha! The Golden Gate Suspension Bridge in San Francisco, California. I didn't think I didn't think that would be right. I was thinking <laughs> like tunnels for some reason. <laughs> okay, so I've got five questions right. Yep. Out of a possible twelve. Okay. Yep. So number four. On the first of January eighteen ninety two, seventeen year old Annie Moore from County Cork became the first of 12 million people to pass through this place. What was it? Uh, from Cork? Yeah, so 1st of January 1892, 17 year old Annie Moore from County Cork became the first of 12 million people to pass through this place. What was it? Uh, okay, so 17 what is it no 1892 1892 what would have been happening in ireland around then okay so um is it ellis island that's exactly what it is yes uh, the ellis island immigration station new york obviously loads of irish people were yeah. immigrating across and she was the first one to pass you know what them. i was thinking of i was thinking of um the godfather 2 yeah I don't know. I was like, what's that place called though? I couldn't remember the name. You know, where he was getting like tested by the doctors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the all the immigrants and the Yeah. Okay. Okay, question five. Which British king's funeral was attended by Caesar? Oh. Does it say what Caesar? Which British King's funeral was attended by Caesar? Oh, uh I don't think <laughs> Okay, well, I know Hadrian came to Britain. Uh, why are you laughing? <laughs> this is so silly, this question. Whoever wrote this, but very um, clever. Okay, okay. So, I don't know who the king of Britain was when Hadrian came to visit. So, I don't know. I'm going to just say, I know this is the wrong place, but Vercingetorix? No. Okay, tell me. The British king's funeral was attended by Caesar. The British king was Edward the Seventh. Caesar was his wire fox terrier dog. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, very funny. Well, that's like not fair. Like the way they worded that. Oh, <laughs> no, that that's sucks. Quite funny. Okay. Okay. So, last question. Question six. Here's a photo. Yep. Which queen of England is buried here? Um. Do we know like where it is roughly? No, it doesn't say. It just says it shows you the photo and says which Queen of England's buried here. Okay. Which Queen of England is buried here? Oh, it it doesn't look overly big. Uh I really you know, I'm gonna no, no, it's not gonna be one of Henry's queens, because it looks too small to be one of Henry. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a shot in the dark, dark because I just finished reading it. Anne of Cleves. No, it was Matilda of Flanders, the wife of William the Conqueror. It is the Abbey of those of Dan's Catton. Oh, I would not have got that at all. Well, that was a hard question. Yes. Well, once again, we got to hit the history books and learn something. Yes, well, thank you everyone for listening. I hope you enjoyed this history quiz. I did a little better this time. I got six out of 12, which is very good because normally I get about two out of 24. Mm -hmm, yeah. So join us next time and we'll be doing the quizzes for April from the BBC History Magazine. Until next time, bye. Bye.